Dr. Nita Hawk here, your chiropractor coach and mentor to help you achieve unbelievable levels of success in your own career. So, I posted a video a few weeks ago, which was my deconstructed side posture kick lumbar pelvic adjustment, and I had a lot of great response. So if you like that video, I'm so glad that you did, which is why I'm gonna do this video today, which is my deconstructed cervical thoracic junction adjustment. Okay, so the CT junction, which is a lot of problems for most of us, getting tension in there, the forward head posture, all that kind of stuff. So I wanna just kind of break it down step by step on how I'm gonna adjust that. So definitely I wanna be standing at the head of the table, Patient's definitely gonna be face down, okay? You wanna make sure that um, once you get them as relaxed as possible, shoulders are relaxed, I sometimes will even lower the headpiece down so that the head is a little bit more neutral. That way I can get this muscle, the traps, to really relax. Because once you get this relaxed, half the battle of getting a good adjustment obviously is gonna be um, taking place. So now I'm just palpating to see what am I adjusting? So when I do a CT junction, I could be, my, my point of contact could be on a rib. It could be on the TP of the subluxated side. So it really depends what I'm finding. And sometimes you could be kind of contacting between the, the TP and the rib and adjusting both simultaneously based on what the, the subluxation is. So already I find one right there. I'd stick in right out. This poor little guy wants to get into place. It is not making this muscle happy. So this would definitely be that junction between the TP and like a rib. This and I'm like C, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm at like T2, T3 area. So that's the spot I'm gonna be pushing in. I'm gonna take the soft part of my Thenar pad. I'm gonna place it on there. Um, I'm gonna now that I have my hand there, I'm still not gonna put too much pressure on her because I want her to stay as relaxed as possible. But for good posture, good form for the doctors, you, sometimes you wanna make sure you have like one leg, I, I go one leg forward, one leg back, kind of in a lunging position. If that doesn't make room for your own adjusting room, you can always do a wide stance and then have your other knee bent. But you definitely don't wanna be putting too much strain on your back, so you wanna be as comfortable as possible. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and bend my left knee here. My hand is right on the segment. My other hand, I'm gonna go ahead and cup right here above her ear, or I can cup on top of the ear. But you wanna be careful if you're cupping on top of the ear not to squish obviously their ear um, and make them uncomfortable. So if you're gonna cup on top of the ear and that's a better contact, just make sure you have a loose hand cupping so that the ear is not squishing, okay? So we always want the patient most comfortable as possible in every adjustment. Okay, so we'll go ahead and relax. I'm gonna cup now here. And then my action, before I do it, I want you to know that my action is I'm gonna push my weight down here and simultaneously I'm gonna rotate the, the, the neck. And in order, when I do that, that's what's gonna get that adjustment in, that drive, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and perform the adjustment. So again, I'm switching my sides where I'm leaning my body weight. As you can see, I'm gonna try to practice good posture. My hand is right where I need it to be, contacting the uh, subluxated vertebrae. And then I'm just rotating the head, okay? So I'm gonna do this for you, other side, because I know it goes really quickly when you're seeing it live like this, which is why I wanted to deconstruct it. So now, I'm actually gonna hit a little bit higher, more like T1. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use this part of my hand, make sure I get nice contact on there. And I'm leaning my body weight so I'm comfortable. So now, most of the force that's happening is not through my muscles, it's just leaning my body weight and obviously the speed. Cupping her head like this, very gently, not squishing the ear, and that's pretty much the move. It's just a scissor action simultaneously, and we got like two or three little audibles already through here, right? Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that is my CT junction deconstructed for you. Please keep your questions and comments coming. I wanna make sure that I'm here to help you. Dr. Nita Hawk.